why is Rondo getting away with this move every time? Just a little bit of history. In the early 2000s, Jason Williams did something like this. And of course, the king of handoffs, Kyrie Irving himself, did this too. So before we proceed with Rondo's approach, let's talk about how Jason Williams and Kyrie Irving executed this. This is how Jay Williams and Kyrie Irving did this. Did you notice that they overextended their arm such that the ball is visible at their back. It serves as a paint to the opponent. Also, there's really a legitimate option to pass the ball to your teammate on the other side or a potential threat. And that made the fake pass very convincing. This move has two parts. First is the overextension of the arms. Second is the legitimate option to pass the ball to your teammate. Let's take a look at how Rondo executes this move. In this way, Rondo observed the two parts. He overextended his arm and then there's a legitimate option to pass the ball to Dirk Nowitzki. However, this is not the case in this play. You will notice that he, Rondo extended his arm but there's no legitimate option to pass the ball to him. Well, you might say that's just one play. But how about this one? Look, Rashid Wallace is too far from Rondo. Also, Wallace is not a threat on that space. So what am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is that you don't actually need a legitimate option to pass. All you need to do is to extend your arm and sell the fake effectively. Hey, we're not done yet. There's one interesting move that Rondo has been doing, just to add the sellability of the fake. Look at Rondo's head. He turns his head to look as if he's about to pass the ball. 